Two Florida police officers are being investigated for holding an 11-year-old girl at gunpoint. Now, these two cops in Florida were responding to a burglary, burglary alarm that accidentally went off. And when they went into the home, they noticed an 11-year-old girl laying in bed watching television. At that point, uh, they apparently put a gun to her and made her lay on the ground. In fact, the girl told uh, the media that one of the officers pushed her to the ground and held her there with his knee while the other officer pointed his gun at her, right? And she said, I was very scared. I didn't know what to do. The two officers have actually uh, been in a little bit of trouble in the past. It's James Festa and John Rigdon. They're both three-year veterans with previous disciplinary actions in their personal files. So what were those disciplinary actions? I'm very curious. Well, apparently, Festa was reprimanded back in December for botching a child abuse case. Uh, and also, the other uh, cop, Rigdon, was suspended in May uh, and demoted from corporal uh, in 2013 because he uh, filed two false police reports. Now, to be fair to Festa, it wasn't just that he botched a child uh, abuse investigation, which sounds pretty serious. He was also reprimanded for falling asleep on the job. So... I mean, uh, I just I actually don't want to blame him for that. <laughs> I mean, we've all had those days. <laughs> Let it go. Okay, well, if you're a cop, <laughs> we probably don't want you to uh, sleep at the job. But the uh, flip side is if he, when he wakes up and takes a gun out on an 11-year-old, yeah. not much better. In fact, significantly worse. So this is similar to a story we did uh, the other day uh, about Charles Blow, who's the uh, columnist for the New York Times, and his son and what he had to go through at Yale. Look, uh, pointing a loaded weapon at somebody ain't no joke, mm -hmm. right? And it's not something that you should do lightly. And now, though, cops, as we've talked about many times before, there's this culture of no risk. Yeah. No risk for a cop is ever acceptable. Somebody's got a, a knife 200 uh, feet away, doesn't matter. Shoot them dead, boom, you all, and execute them. Shoot them 12 times, shoot them however many times mm -hmm. you need. Toy gun, not toy gun, I'm not going to investigate, I'm going to shoot in two seconds. There's an 11-year-old uh, girl sitting on a couch. In her own home, by the way. Uh, in her own home. So the burglary alarm went off. I mean, God, you, how long? And they've been cops three years. Everybody knows those alarms go off on false alarms all the time. And you're going to bust into that person's house? And you think the 11-year-old might be the burglar? You're going to put a knee on her uh, chest or whatever and then hold her at gunpoint? Are you yeah. insane? To be but that's fair, the thing. It's not insane anymore. It's par for the course now. I think the one thing that we're not taking into consideration <laughs> is that this little girl um, is possibly a thug, okay? And she could have had thuggish behavior in the past. <laughs> Um, by the way, uh, I don't know, like, there have been studies out there that show that if someone is black, people oftentimes think that that individual is much older than he or she really is. And this little girl's black, she's 11 years old. I don't know what their reasoning is for going in there and pointing a gun at her immediately. But ask some questions before you decide to pull out your gun, right? Especially if she's laying in bed and watching television. She probably lives there. In fact, she apparently told the press that they asked her if she was the homeowner. She's 11 years old. I just don't understand. How are these people cops? They're so unbelievably incompetent and dangerous. You know, I, I didn't know she was black. I read the story. It doesn't say what race she is. And, I, I, but I, I didn't wonder in this case because I really think the cops have gotten to a point where they don't care that much anymore. It started with black people. Now it's all Americans. Congratulations. Like, would they go and put a, a gun to the head of an 11-year-old white girl? Maybe they'd be more reluctant because of assumptions. Right. Right? The assumption in the back of their head would be, oh, that's a girl like my, you know, my, my niece or my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's 11. She obviously doesn't own the house. Right? And, uh, so they might not. Or they might because the thing that they're taught is draw your gun, neutralize every conceivable threat in the room, there's a dog, shoot it in the head. Mm -hmm. If there's a girl, hold her at gunpoint. It doesn't matter. Neutralize, neutralize. Don't ever, ever take a risk. It's not like you're a cop or anything.